So one of the staple things we have at Jalsa is the blood drive. The blood drive is something that we've been holding here for many, many years. And each year, Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah, it has been a resounding success. Due much in part to the efforts of the organizer, Mr. Nadeem Malik. Uh, Asalaamu As Alaikum. Wa Alaikum As Salaam. Um, and so you've been, you're, you're no stranger to blood drives. Uh, you've been uh, organizing the 9-11 uh, anniversary blood drives in New York City for four years. Uh, what's, what's that been like? What, how have you seen this reception of a Muslims for life mentality? Uh, I would say the reception is, is very positive. At, at the end of the day, it's uh, a very simple and important thing to donate blood. It takes a little bit of time, might take a little bit of energy, and you can save up to three lives. We've all been in a situation where that blood transfusion, you have a relative, a loved one in a hospital, so it hits you right here. And, um, and so it's, uh, it's a very easy and simple thing. And, and yes, it, I appreciate your kind words, but this is definitely a, a team effort. A lot of people come together from, from the blood uh, drive, Red Cross, uh, the Central uh, Pennsylvania Blood Bank, the other organizations that do this, as well as the people that organize this. So it's, uh, it's been very positively received. But, and uh, your team has people of all ages as well? Yes, or? my the team has grown and evolved, literally. So uh, Raza Malik here got started with the blood drives at the age of five, and now he's uh, in the age of nine, um, continuing to stay involved. And uh, so what, what keeps you going? What keeps you volunteering here? I think it's fun. You think it's fun? How have, uh, when you go around, you hold the sign saying donate blood, you're walking around showing people. What do people say? They sometimes they say, where is it? And sometimes they say, could you tell me about it? And then, okay, so let me ask you, tell me about the blood drive. Well, there's different people and they have to give blood and then you can save up to three people. One person has the potential of saving three people. That's pretty remarkable. Now, um, Muslims for Life, the blood drive in honor of the victims of 9-11 has been going on since 2011. So it's, we're in the fourth year now and we've gotten over 30,000 units nationwide since then, which has saved up to 100,000 lives, that means the math adds up. So that's a pretty impressive thing, huh? That's pretty cool. And uh, he's not even old enough to donate blood yet. How old do you have to be? Uh, 16? Uh, yes, yeah, 16 with parental consent. 16. So he's waiting. Seven more years. Will you, will you be the first to donate in seven years? Maybe. Inshallah. <laughs> So blood drives are nothing without the organizers and we're here with the illustrious Kathy O'Day who's been coming here to the Farm Show Complex for many years. Kathy is uh, uh, the, uh, the organizer for the Central Pennsylvania Blood Bank which means we keep it local here in local Pennsylvania. Uh, yes, we do. Thank you. Thanks for coming here. Thank you for inviting us. This is one of the blood drives that I look forward to every single year. How, about, how have you seen it evolve through the past four years here? What I love about this is you have people coming from not only around the United States, but from other countries. And everybody is so willing to donate to the local community here where you hold your conference. And I just think that's phenomenal. And it seems to grow a little bit every single year. So. What, are some, what are some stories you've heard of people, um, especially you know, in this post 9-11 world, uh, where you know, people have this uh, negative view of Muslims, and then all of a sudden we have this Muslims for Life campaign that's trying to save fellow Americans' lives. In my opinion, anybody who has a narrow view needs to be educated. Um, it, it's, it's like any religion in the world. Uh, a couple bad apples don't condemn the entire group, and that's the way I think about it. And one thing I really like about this is I, I didn't have a lot of background on being Muslim, and we ask a lot of questions because we don't understand, and everybody is so willing to explain things, and, and it's, it's just awesome. It's just an awesome experience. I feel like I've learned a lot over the past five or so years working with you guys, and I just think it's a, a phenomenal thing that you do when you come here. Now, it's, it's a Saturday, mm -hmm. so tell us a little bit about your staff coming out here on a weekend. Our staff comes out 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, but um, we got a great group here today. They're willing to work. And again, they're all looking forward to it, too. Um, there's only one or two who've been here before to this particular drive because our staff rotates. Uh, so the ones who are coming back again, we're, we're 
glad to be coming back and the new ones are anxious to learn new things. So Now to the viewers at home who couldn't make it this year, uh, what message do you have for them about donating blood? Donating blood is the easiest thing you can do to give something back to the local community. It takes maybe 30 minutes, 45. Blood donation process actually takes the shortest amount of time, maybe five to 10 minutes. One donation can save up to three separate people and have an impact on three separate people. It's the easiest thing you can do to give back, the easiest thing. And you get something back too, and by that I mean cookies. So make sure <laughs> you don't, and a t-shirt this year. So this is great. Make sure you donate blood. Come out if you're on site and you see this somehow. Uh, that's magical. Uh, but if you're at home, you know, donate blood at your local center and help your local community out. Uh, from the blood drive here at Justice Solana, Salam Butti signing off.